As you become a faster writer, you may be spending more time in front of your keyboard or at your computer, so it's important to consider the best ways to support your health. I'm sharing a couple of my favorite tips here to make sure that you don't develop problems from sitting too much, typing too much, or looking at a computer screen too often. Writing more sometimes leads to the particular problem of carpal tunnel. I dealt with this when I was studying for my qualifying exams in the summer of 2014 between managing a full-time freelance writing business and writing all day in preparation for those exams. My right wrist in particular was really, really painful. So the first thing is to be aware of the risks, to be aware that carpal tunnel can be really painful and can slow you down and to understand the benefits of taking breaks. So there's a lot of great stretches that you can do to, um, alleviate carpal tunnel and simply taking a break for 10 minutes every hour and walking away from your computer and doing something else gives your hands a little bit of a break. It might seem like you want to sit at the computer for a really long period of time and stack up all of those writing minutes and hours, but you can do yourself a disservice there by creating a carpal tunnel syndrome that is very, very painful. So those breaks should always be budgeted in. They work really well with the Pomodoro technique because if you're working in 25 or 50 minute sprints to write, you can have your breaks be, you know, five or 10 minutes where you actually get up and walk away from the computer. It's not a good idea to have a break where you're just still sitting at the computer because the goal is to give your eyes and your hands a rest. Another tool that's worked really well for me for carpal tunnel, um, I use peppermint oil for so many different things. It's an essential oil um, that's been really key for helping me prevent headaches um, and be really focused and feel energized. So I use a rollable peppermint oil on my temples. I will also use that rollable directly on my wrist if it does start to act up a little bit. I tend to find that on Thursdays and Fridays when I've been writing all week. Um, so of course, as with anything, you know, talk that over with your doctor and make sure you're not sensitive to it. Um, a wrist brace is kind of a last resort if you have to continue typing. They're available pretty much anywhere online. I got mine from Amazon, and um, I only had to wear it on the, the one hand, the right hand that was in a lot of pain from carpal tunnel. Um, it kind of helps hold your wrist in the right position, but it can be a little bit clunky and will therefore slow you down. So again, taking those breaks, using peppermint oil, and not spending too much time in front of your computer are going to be the best defense against developing carpal tunnel. And carpal tunnel really isn't the only thing to worry about. About. Sitting all the time, of course, is not great for you either. So that's why I do advise that when you wrap up your Pomodoro, you step away from the computer for five or 10 minutes and you go do something else. You go load the dishwasher, run the vacuum. Um, sometimes I will even get on the treadmill just to like run or walk for 10 minutes just to get a little bit of a break. Um, you can also use a standing desk so that you're not always sitting in the exact same position in the same chair. There's a lot of really great convertible standing desks out there that can help ensure that you're still moving around. So we're accomplishing a lot of things at the same time, right? Because you're taking a break to give your wrists a rest from typing on the keyboard, your back from sitting or standing. And then also if you're sensitive to eye strain or tend to get headaches from looking at the computer a lot, that's another good reason to take a break. I use blue light blocking glasses. Those have been really helpful um, in cutting down on headaches and tension associated with eye strain. Um, I just got you know a no prescription set of blue light blocking glasses for like 50 bucks, including shipping, and I wear them every day, every time I'm in front of the computer, and that has helped me a lot. So those are just a couple of tips to keep your health in mind as you are essentially committing to spending more time in front of the computer by upping your rent 